Along other credentials of Honorable Dr. Ibamiji Joshua will be highlighted. Once again, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And let me just say very quickly that when politicians move, they don't move alone, you know. He has a team uh, who escorted him here. I'd like to recognize uh, that Honorable Eba Guadamosi, right? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Honorable Femi Akintunde, former Secretary of Lagiri Local Government, and Mr. Emu Balugu are all here uh, with him. I also must thank uh, my brother Waiso, who's been facilitating, you know, communication uh, between Honorable Dr. Oyebamiji Joshua and the hot seat. I am Olaulu Olajbosun, yours sincerely, for you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Very quickly, because uh, it's <coughs> about a quarter uh, past uh, two, and uh, checkout time is about five minutes to four. I wanted to start this way. Um, quickly, what is the status of the APC uh, in your state now and uh, its state ESCO? Uh, by the way, it might interest, let me just give the first shot here, that uh, Dr. Uyibamiji uh, Joshua is the vice chairman of the APC in Oyo State. And uh, he has so much up his sleeves, like I said, I'll be releasing them one after the other. So what's the status of the APC in Oyo State now and its ESCO? Thank you very much. I want to appreciate uh, this station first, Agidibo 88.7. And for bringing up this avenue to sensitize the public. I want to appreciate good people of your state for finding time to listen to us. And I want to appreciate my good people in APC, in your state, and all over the nation. The state of things in the uh, in the APC or your state chapter, we are the front of the activities. You will note that a couple of weeks ago or months ago, we had our congresses st starting from the world, the local to the state level, which was held successfully. And uh, you would need to know that of recent, the headquarters in Abuja had sworn in all the state chairmen. Now we have Honorable Isaac Komadewo as the state chairman for your state APC. By the mandate given to him, he had come home and couples of weeks ago, he had sworn in the state school members, of which I am a member, and the chairman of 33 local governments. You need to know that the convention has not ended. We are planning for the Zona Convention, which is hopefully will come up on 12th of March, and uh, the National Convention, which is expected to hold on 26th of March, as planned. Presently in Illinois State, we have set the ball rolling, and uh, we have started the electoral processes. The members are registering with Hynek and uh, we have started conversing with other party, relating with other parties to join our party, that advocacy. And we, are, we have started embarking on internal settlement of minor, minor differences within the party, which is usually the outcome of the uh, congresses that have been held. So, as a date, this new state executive 
is in control of the party and they are relating very well smoothly with the national body and we are planning together along with the national body for the sonar convention and the national convention i think i've attended to your question well sir yeah you attended mm -hmm. to it very simply but uh, it looks uh, a bit uh, bigger than that you know to to me uh because uh, what we hear is that uh most of your uh key members in the party in the state are not particularly happy at the emergence of uh, the state chairman uh Chibaisik and um, and i even overheard sometime that even <coughs> one of uh, the key members threatened the likely court action and even the ESCO, as it stands today, uh, the chief, uh, the ESCO of uh, uh, Chief Omodeo's team, um, they they also claim that they have teamed up. You know, uh, some of them are, who are loyalists uh, to Chief Aki Okeskam, and uh, it's like even your ESCO is not a one body like it's been uh, speculated can you give us a clearer picture sir is it true that some of your party members are different persons to which they are loyal uh, you know we we have to go back to the processing of uh, inauguration of new executive yeah. the instruction from the headquarters was that we should go on consensus approach. And uh, before we could embark on consensus approach, there had to be a formula for ensuring that consensus that had to be democratic because of advocacy for true democracy. So a committee was set up before the commencement of this issue of consensus to look into the zoning of the positions we have 36 positions for the executive of the state and this position was zoned into the seven geopolitical zones where everybody had agreed on that zoning of course what will follow will be that the leadership in nature of the zone we have to sit down and pick or agree on or nominate the people that will occupy the positions that are located to them but according to the instruction they must make sure that at least a post a position goes to a local government we have 33 local government in our state and we have the local party chapters in 33 places. So, and we have 36 positions to be shared. So definitely every local government will have its own slot. So the leadership of each of these zones met and they did the nomination. Let me take your zone as an example. We have the leadership resident in Oyo, which include people like uh, the member of As of Rep, which is Kime. We have uh, people like Chief Akin today. We have people like uh, uh, those that came from Ilora Zone and the like. They were about 10. They sat down, they shared the position. They signed the document and they sent it to the central committee for adoption. Like where I came from, that is Ibadan Less City, which is popularly known as Greater City now. <laughs> you know, we have Ibadan Urban. Roger, Roger. We have Ibadan Less City. Yeah. So I came from a local government. So a position was allotted to that place. And that is the position of or your central senatorial chairman which is 
automatically the vice chairman one for the state executive so there wasn't any controversy on all those ones and uh, when it got to a level that there had to be intervention by the central committee they had a general stakeholders meeting to review with people with with, with the committee that came from abuja mostly a day to the congress so they reviewed the position of things Baboke was seated there all the heads governors and deputy governors senators and the principal stakeholders were all seated there so they took the position one by one and they agreed that very day on 30, 35 posts left with the issue of the chairmanship so four people indicated they wanted to be chairman as individual a zone was given the mandate to produce the chairman they had a meeting first meeting they had like the report they gave to us was called by one of our leader who happens to be the leader of that zone that is Abubwa Damasi. He called the meeting into his house. Unfortunately, there was an omission because the people he invited, majority of them were from his side. So, and they invited the rest of the people late. So they, when they came in, they, they told didn't them get uh, enough uh, information enough. before they came. Okay. When they came in, they disagree with what has transpired without their home presence so the meeting was later seconded to uh, the former governor's house Olado the former deputy governor to Chivi Yola. Olado. Chivi Yola, Olado. Olado. so they had another meeting there the four of them presented themselves as the issue now been resolved it it couldn't be resolved they they had to revert them back to Ibadan. that is the headquarters so when they go back to Ibadan, baboke oversaw the the meeting at he, Ibadan. he presided over right he presided right. over it so he assured the committee that they should just leave that one that before the day break to the convention that they will resolve it that if they fail to resolve it all of them should go to the Congress feed to to face the issue of delegate voting. Um, Dr. Oyebamiji mm. Joshua, as the vice chairman of yes. the EPC in New York State, and with due regard, you know, to your position as a, a counseling, you know, psychologist, I want to believe that whatever you tell us here is going to be the truth and it will work out but will you say that totally there is peace in the apc in your state with all you've been telling us when you talk of peace you peace is a relative term Do, even when you talk of a uh, uh, peace uh, you, you came here peacefully today does that mean the totality of your nuclear family is peaceful Talk it's normal it's normal talk about your part no i'm just as a psychologist i'm you approach me as a psychologist and i have to use that background to explain what you are you see when you are talking from professional and scientific point of view there is no person even who world health organization affirms that there is no individual that's 100 percent early okay so no system is without any then you will also note that where you have majority of the people you will ha always be having one rift or the other one rank or the other but that does not erase what they call cultural observation and rules and regulation observation where cultural observation is not working then you go by rules and regulations and, uh, and uh, Okay. where consensus did not work then okay. they had to throw them to the congress feet i've always been asserting it and which is a blunt truth even when you call to 
uh, uh, fashions together oh, to yeah. talk. We still say the same thing because that was what Baboke was the incumbent. I mean, the former or the outgoing state chairman. State chairman. Yeah. He had the mandate to invite and to announce the Congress. And he did the necessary. He called on the media to attend the Congress. He fixed the date along with others. He invited the security agencies. He invited the high neck. And he invited the people from Abuja, the committee that have to oversee it. And he fixed the date and the venue together. Till the, that very night too, a previous night to the, con uh, the, con the, con the Congress, no other notification that it will not hold. So all the members assembled at the place, the, 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 the Liberty Stadium for the Congress. The security agencies were there. And uh, the high neck was there to observe. And the committee also, they attended. And they call on the names of where we have the consensus, we just affirm. So when it came to the chairmanship, which we expected that others will future, fortunately for IC Komodewo, was the only one around. Though the second person that was around, Ajewole. So what signal does that give you? The signal he gave us is that they have accepted the VIT. They have succumbed because one of them that attended said is leaving, is there, is stepping down for Madewo. Okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, and because there have been an argument on some other people like Abu Badamasi, we, some of us that are of opinion that we are tired of aged people, at 85, what much can you do for this type of mission ahead of us? Wait a minute, is it the same Baba Abu, Abu Lododo of those days? Is Abu that had the test come? <laughs> <laughs> so, and from my own professional point of view, look at look, 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 look at it. Look at it from the science of aging. Let me call him, come in from that angle. Don't take me to the classroom. I want to. No, to no. You just brief. Okay, okay. Explanation. Okay, sir. Justification. Okay. For why some of people objected that we are tired of old people in that system that is meant for young and agile individual in from science of aging your head should determine what you'll be doing and where you will be and what will be happening to you if you don't understand anything you understand menstrual period of a woman because i know you are a family man you understand that uh, at a point there will be menopause yeah, the but, same but, thing when you come to mental development at 60, 65, your mental development stops and start deteriorating. And your stamina, your energy. You, you, before we came in, you know what you told me, that I'm not too strong enough to be doing this and that again. Do we expect a chairman that will sit down for one hour's meeting and sleep for 45 minutes? Do we expect a chairman that will be invited, that you must report in Abuja tonight and we say I'm, I'm not fit for it do we expect a chairman that will be delegating all the duties to the files okay so uh, it comes from that angle so fortunately for Omadeo he came up and because others were invited they were called their names were called and nobody future again the next thing is to affirm okay so it was oh, equally know. affirmed the way all other people were affirmed and for a person, for a person to be member of executive, he has to ob observe these three stages that rule stays down. One. Number one, he must express interest Two. by taking form, application form. Two, he must attend the screening to certify that what he claims to be is true. Number three, he must attend the Congress where Haida is voted in or affirmed. So if there are no other person with him, so the position, his position will be a farm. You don't compete for so, something that you don't have somebody that is competing with you. So on that position, those three stages were observed by all members of executive that are there here today. And the constitutionally is unfortunate. All right. Honorable Dr. Joshua, 
Vice Chairman APC Noyo State. Uh, and Chairman Oyo Central Senatorial and District. And Chairman Oyo Central Senatorial District. Of course, I want to believe and no doubt that you and your chairman, you are working in the same direction. We, I don't have choice. You don't because have choice. Uh, all members that are in executive has to work under the directive or management of the the head of the system and is the so, accounting officer and so some observations have been made i will tell you about that observation now and that's what we are going into very shortly no problem i just want to tell our listener that uh, you are on to agiribo 88.7 fm ibadan oyo state nigeria and the program is at uh, the hot seat honorable dr oye bamiji joshua is our guests on the program and this is where i am going um it's been <coughs> observed by in some quarters mm. that your party as it stands now the apc esco mm. and particularly your chairman is working towards senator taslim falari's uh emergence as uh the party uh flag bearer you know for the gubernatorial seats 2023 is that right are you working who, 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 who is saying that i said because at in times some the, quarters in some quarters because at times you news people will just say what you you don't use it you, i it, didn't it say you. i said it i said you said you people. had that some people said it uh, let me I, I want to go scientific no just tell me if it is true. it's not true okay. it's not true it's okay. not true let me go let me let me explain further then Okay, because there's a follow up to that. Okay, explain. Let me. Uh, so you will note that because it's from what your behavior and what you say that we will know your mind. You have faba and non faba communication. The day he was inaugurated and the way he, the day he inaugurated other executive, yeah. he made a statement that was equally credited to the f uh, current president. He said, "I'm for everybody. I'm for nobody." By the way, what's the meaning of that statement? If you cannot get President Muhammad Buhari uh, to tell me that, uh, you have repeated it. Yes. You have resounded it. Oh, no, and he explained it. He what, explained it. And what explanation did he He give? said he belongs to no faction, that he belongs to all APC, that everybody have access, equal access to him, and every member has equal rights. And when you know, you, you have to understand that this is a political game political game yeah for a post four people are contending for it the same thing we have gladiators if you say those who have expressed their interest they want to be senators there are very many each of them will be working to us what will work for them now tell me what are the options options in what sense uh, of uh, i mean who are you looking forward to you know we are looking forward to all the gladiators that have showed interest. And by the time we, the primary is conducted, it's whoever emerges, pick the ticket, and we work as a party for that person. Okay. That's the option. We have a, 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 a Penkele there. We have Tegbi there. We have Teslim there. We have San there. We have... A, uh, we have about nine or ten of them that are there are you, and all of them are working rigorously to make sure that and you will note this yeah. i want you to note this when ajima b emerged in his first term he was he did not have any association with the executive of the party he did not have the knowledge of who the executive members were he was in after the congress had been held. he was not in control of any executive and he emerged you okay. get what i'm saying okay. but when you are playing the game and you are you you feel you have not fulfilled all righteousness you may be afraid of what will be the result but omade was a person that i know and from what he said and his behavior is for everybody is for nobody is for all the members of APC in Loyal State. Let me quickly roll out uh, the phone lines uh, so that uh, any of our listeners can join us in this discussion. 
and 0708468066767 and if you are calling from outside Nigeria it is plus 2349062010887 agidibo 88.7 fm and it's the hot seat we expect you to put in your calls across so that you can be part of the discussion <coughs> meanwhile meanwhile uh, the national leader of the APC Yes. Uh, Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Chirubu, His Excellency, the former governor of Lagos State, mm. has made his presidential ambition known. Mm. What is your position on this? Uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Chirubu mm -hmm. has made his position known. Because you just talk about age and whatever now, so I just want to see. He has made his position known. Yeah. Are you getting it? Other people also have made their position known. Yeah. And if you are, if you are, <laughs> you have the choice. We have other people also that are from Southwest that are expressing their position. I mean, their interest in presidential race. Are you getting it? Yeah. So it's when it comes to the time. Now I will be more interested that somebody from my home, from Southwest, emerge as a person. I'm talking as a person. Yeah. I will be more interested because I will expect that somebody will want to contribute more to his home to his background to from where he came from yeah so if i will see as an individual i'll be interested in him until i have the second person to him within this vicinity but in the interim that is only bola met you know that indicated his interest we are still holding i'm still holding on to that and i know majority of the yorubas we still or southwest people will still be holding on to that if another person comes in from the southwest here we then compare which one will work better? Okay, your camp, and in particular Chief Isaac Amadeu, your mm. chairman, had not been visible uh, in Ashwaju, Chinobuza, at all to places in your state recently. Uh, why has this been so? If it's a party of very will future, and if it's invited to a place, Are you will saying Bola met Chinobu's movements is not a party affair, it's a personal no, affair? If you, if you engage in visiting Ulubada, and you say you are not inviting me to come along with you to visit to Lubada, or you go to or near Fife, are and you? you are not inviting me to go along with that person, then do you expect that when other candidates come as the, the chairman, national leader of the APC, one expects that or protocol you know mm. will demand or encourage that whoever is the APC chairman in this state will join him in his movements around? I mean, what do you think? If you are invited to join, you will join. And if are you saying that if he's not if invited, he Bola will not Ahmed join. Tinubu was not. I mean, did not invite your chairman. I'm not aware. I'm not aware, because if it is a party affair, he has to report to the party office, regardless of your position in the party. So it was news to you that Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Some of us, over. some of us joined him, but not as a, a an hierarchy or structure of the party. But as individual. But your chairman was visibly not. If he's mm. not invited, what, what are you saying? If he's not invited to join, he will not join. You know what politics is? But you were not invited. You said you joined. Were you invited? No, what I'm saying is this. Some of us, I'm not saying I joined. I see. Uh -huh. so Some who, of us. So what is the status of those who joined? No, the status is uh, just a matter of interest and personal relationship. And then, if somebody is going to, I uh, Bola admit, you know, visited uh, Ladoja, you will expect La, uh, the Ladoja, even if Bobala admit, you know, did not inform uh, the, uh, Sarafa Ali. So, the, the Ladoja will invite Sarafa Ali to join that I'm receiving, I'm having a visitor, special visitor. So, either from the, the, the visitor or the person being visited, so there could be coalition. So, so far, this. so far. Do you not think there will be it will fuel speculations that probably uh, your chairman Chivazi Komodo is not in the good books of Bola Metinu? He has nothing against Bola Metinu. Let me tell you something about Bola Metinu. Bola Metinu, late Ajimabi was his addict followers then, okay. and we uh, were following Ajimabi to death. To the point of death are you getting it that line kills 
we have major two lines in Oyo State as far as presidential is concerned. Okay. Presently, we have a motion line. We have a Tinubu line. Majority of us that belongs to Ajima be belongs to Tinubu line. He, any time in those days when Ajima was alive, I used to be one of the person that would go out with him any any outing that is. But he will inform me in, in advance that we are going somewhere tomorrow or next tomorrow this, this coming weekend. I will go along with him. I follow him more than two times or three times to Lagos. Was there any outing that uh, he had that you attended without being invited? Which one? Who? You were talking about uh, Ajimobi. Ajimobi. No, there wouldn't be any outing I would attend except when I was in office that it was official. You know, it's now very sensitive for person who is holding post just to move here and there. And there are some things that are party issues. There are some things that are personal issues. Okay. Now, when he, the, the, the the implication of you see now that maybe when they notice any close relationships to they, they will say one is biased. And when your position at time will determine how you behave. Those who have so nothing are, at stake. You are defending the position of your chairman that there's nothing wrong that he wasn't with uh, Bola in his movement. Sorry. You will not know. There are some, some many things that are not exposed in the public. Okay. You will not know whether they see they see one on one, okay. and it has him. Don't follow us. Stay behind, and we go. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. it so it's not everything that transfer on that net that the public will know. But the interesting thing is the unismate. You want to build story out of no story at times. No, we like to find out. I mean, like this is public enlightenment for the public. Don't you like it? It's good. It's That's good. It. And that is what I'm telling you now. My I'm dear. telling you now that it, it's not all things that you do within your room that you expose to the people in the public. There are some games that you have to play and play it in it so that people will not indict somebody on your behalf. No matter whatsoever. If there is going to be a presidential congress, I mean the, 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 the primary, Tinumbu will still invite us and will coordinate and we campaign and we tell the members these are the offers you have you have the right to choose whichever you because you still have to be safe so you definitely is saying that um uh that uh chibola ahmed tinubu uh is in support of the progress of have made in the party in your state is in support of buari is in support of Buni. Is in support of Omadeu. Okay. Is in support of I myself that is sitting before you. The vice chairman. Yes. Why? The 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 committee that was set up was set up by Heineck, the Buni committee. There's a ordinary convention planning committee was set up. Um Tinumbu was part of that Heineck because he consists it consisted of the president, the major leaders of regions, the vice president, senate president, and the majority of the important people in the party. And you know you cannot overestimate the relevance of Tinobu in these affairs. So he, he is a member of INEC that inaugurated the committee of Bune. So he's formally and officially and legally in support of Buni. Okay. And whatever Buni does is in support of it. One of which is the emergence of your Omadewo. Okay. okay. By implication. Yeah. So if he coming is coming to your state, I mean Bola Ahmed Tunubu does not have two APC chairman in your state. Go and check it. He does not have two APC chairman in your state. It has the one that was certificated by Buni and given certificate of return. No two person in New York State were given certificate of return. But Honorable Isaac Komadewo. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Dr. Oyibamiji uh, Joshua, Vice Chairman, APC here in New York State. Uh, very quickly, let's look at this. Before um, I'm still coming back to New York State. But very quickly, do you think <coughs> Nigeria mm. has a constitution good enough? to evolve an egalitarian space for the citizenry. A lot of people say 
even if the best person on this planet is made the president of this country, that with the current constitution that we are practicing with, that it might still be very difficult. What's your take on this? The Nigeria, you know, I, I was in the House. Sure. And I was the Chairman House Committee on Information. Yeah. Is it the subject of constitution? There are some there are some aspects of the constitution that are not relevant to the current situation okay. in Nigeria then. And those who are in position as a then when it was amended as as amended nineteen ninety eight, I think that was the last time it was amended. They amended it according to the situation then. Then there are some development that has erupted that has is making the lawmakers in different chapters of the states as of assembly to be enacting their own rules and amending at their own level their own state's laws but the 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 major problem is that even when any law made at any state level is still a sub is still subjected to national law which is nigeria constitution so until you know the people have been agitating for the amendment of that constitution they have been agitating for different amendments. And you will see the, the electoral hack that our job in sign is a subject of amendment within that constitution also. Law has to be made according to the development of the time. And it has to be subjected to amendment from time to time as new development erupts. Well, since you have gone to that development, uh, that's where I was going to. What do you think that signing into law of the amendment uh, uh the electoral uh act the amendment to the electoral act bill signed by mr president what positive impact do you think is going to bring in the into the electoral process now uh, of of course if i were just browse through when it was uh, yeah. recently replaced i think it just about 10 aspect words was neatly amended uh, so it was stipulated the date the, the one of the amendment was that they every party must owe this congress social time and it must have a space of social time to the election okay. another aspect was that the high neck must have gotten the payment for the election that is forthcoming a year before the undertaking of that election are you getting it so some of the problems that are leading to frustration of election are things that are being amended there and uh, majorly they have touched on then I, I think another aspect says talks about the subject of when the election is conducted and uh, there is over voting that they should be using the accreditation to monitor the over voting. You know, if you the, if thirty people were accredited for election, and uh, you now have resort that is forty people, so they use that one as a pendulum or the yastic for measuring over voting because those are some of the lingering problems that are linked to. So each of these issues they dealt with, they are the sensitive issue that were causing the manipulation. And the issue of use of these electronic devices also was also mentioned that is should be adopted. Are you getting it? That the results should be probably online. So that people can cross check scientifically what is going on here and there at a time. And uh, you see, but the problem we have with some of these that they are even amended. In those days, I think the last time they used the machine, they said a machine, some machine were manipulated, that the brain was distorted. So, and you know, machine is garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. It's what you give to. So the election, the presidential election, the previous one that was postponed. The, the the latest one that we had that was postponed before the final election was aired. No, they had manipulated the machine and online to the extent that the election has not aired and they are started seeing results. 
those are human factor they are here yeah. so you may not be able to 100 percent erase all these force but the cogent ones that you think that you can monitor and work on those are the things that and thank god is being amended at least the problem will be reduced okay. but the background question you ask is about the constitution mm -hmm. constitution is yet to be perfected because the notion of some of us that are not too privileged constitution will tell you about your rights but people are working on privilege in nigeria you know if not privilege why will a person that has all that it takes still be a second citizen in his, in his citizenship citizenship country why would they say that a part of country will have to be dominating all other people are you getting it I'm so sorry. the issue of this constitutional amendment is still a subject to be addressed but at least because the lingering issue now is the issue of election at least the electoral act amended has been published and has been endorsed by the presidency at least we're expecting a better result than the former result that we had in the previous elections okay thank you so sir. i'm not 100 percent satisfied and uh, an idea an average nigeria will not be 100 percent satisfied with this 1998 constitution nigeria constitution as amended and so as uh, a former uh, lawmaker in your state what will be your assessment of the national assembly at the moment in the area of uh making amendments to our laws in the country as it affects us do you think they are doing enough they cannot do enough why because human beings human needs are insatiable okay they cannot do enough they just like i'm sorry to say are I, they doing I, are they doing at all yeah are they are doing they are doing something okay they are doing something and they are busy doing something you see you have apart from your primary assignment as a lawmaker is to make law amend law those are the two things you do you make new law we are necessary you amend the existing law that is getting outdated are you getting it so then there are other functions like oversight function is still there though monitoring by each of the committee of the house and the the, 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 the confirmation of appointment different assignments that are part of constitutional right or constitutional duty yes. that belongs to them so the, what we normally use as a yardstick is that how many laws have we amended how many law how many new laws have we made it's left for them to confirm are you getting no so hence uh, i investigate I cannot say specifically. If it were when I was in the House as House Committee Chairman's information, every day I will have the update on my table. We have amended so so number of laws. We have done this, we have done that. We have been able to achieve this and this and that. Our achievement, our problems, everything will be exposed to me. But because it's still official and confidential to them. You cannot assert the position there, but they are always. Are they not having that? The, the constitutionally, there is a number of sitting that the house should have, and if you have less than that, you can be removed. You can be removed from the house. So they, they we normally adhere to that very, 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 very stingily. So you dare not have come from the house for so long a time. And you cannot go to the house with house without house procedure. Without you cannot go to the plenary without house procedure. And then you, you have to get the assignment for the day, which you have to be your duty. And at a point in time, maybe quarterly or half a year, you have to assess how far you have gone, what you have done, and publish it and uh, relate and have press briefing on it. So I will not say they are not working, because if you examine the setting that is at senate level majority of them are second third fourth timers they have the experience so it makes it easier for them not that they be searching for who to guide them and what to do so they are working they are working so they are working mm. you said so you know some laws are initiated by government when they need it for their functioning some are initiated by public when they need it for their functioning some are initiated by sponsored by ngos not governmental agencies that are not pri neither private or public so 
and when this thing uh initiates initiated so they take it to the house and they are procedure for making an act a law or making an edit a law or making rules a law so do you have first reading you have second reading you refer to the committee that is relevant then finally you have the third endorsement you will after third reading so it has to pass through all those things you are teaching me how to be a lawmaker and what i'm supposed to do as a lawmaker i really appreciate you honorable Oyebamiji joshua um no doubt if i ask you to assess the apc government at the national level i expect you to say it is good but as a nigerian <coughs> what is your assessment of the apc government at the federal level <coughs> Thank as you, i know you still mm. wish mm. that the apc gets the next mix i mean uh gives us the next president by god's grace so what is your assessment of the APC so far at the national level? You see, the, the assessment of an individual or an institution will be based on the test of time. Okay. So let me start from... No, we need to take a break now. We'll okay. be back very shortly. It's 3 p.m. on Agiribo 88.7 FM. And then you are back on the hot seats. Yes, let's have The this. assessment of an institution, an organization, or a country, or a government or an individual will be based on the test of time let me give you an example before i jump to where i'm going if people are assessing or your state government presently objectively objectively as a citizen some people will say they have performed excellently this side i want you to leave your state because you are coming to that let's, uh -huh. let's stay with so the but when government. you want to take an aspect that is a subject of test and problems of the time development of the time if you talk of security in your state or generally in nigeria or now all over the world you say these people that are in government now they have problem that they are unable to manage but if you want to count on what are the achievements do they achieve at all they do i think you are listening to me i'm with you uh -huh. so if you are asking do they achieve at all I, th I think I listened to Agidi Boye this morning, and uh, I had uh, one pastor comrade was saying that he bought the uh, train from Ibada to Lagos, and it was like play. Which is that is a development. That's and that's right. I, I I I I used to listen to that man. That man would not always want to say probably the federal government is doing anything fast. But he confirmed this morning that they are doing something fantastic. He said the train from Nibadan to Lagos, that you get to train station here at Mania, it's just like you get to airports. And in just 45 minutes, you have gotten to Lagos without any roadblock. Is that not fantabulous? And if you want to, let's go to, let's come local. I, I, I belong to a local government here. There is express way to to Oyo Bumaso, what is ever going on? Then, of recent, they just jumped to the old road and they started renovating. I asked them, Who are these people? Is a farmer? Are they not working? If you go from Ibadan Expressway to Lagos, is it the way it was in those days that it is now? People still good kudos to the teaching problem that we may say is global, national and local is security much more and uh, that is human and is a subject of time the late uh, Ibiola Jima became an angel in Oyo State because of security uh, maintenance that they had it very well God gave him to do because there was no with all the steps he took not that step that made him to be successful along that line but the development of the time made him to be victorious along the security issue some people will say we like Ajima for security we don't like him for pension payments because he, he didn't pay my mother's pension this one will be credited is zero on security but on pension payment is paying pension 
Are you getting it? So it's a subject of time if you want to talk objectively as a citizen. But what do we do? When a problem emerges, you address it. Somebody was, every Nigerian was agitating, eight, I say about seven years ago, that Buhari Idi Agma was the best ruling military government that we had. That Buhari was disciplined. Idi Agma was equally disciplined. So they wanted Buhari to come back. And Buhari came back. The change was effected. It started on its own. So anybody that will criticize Buhari will not criticize, criticize him as a person. Will criticize him we will criticize his team. He will say Buhari is good, but some of the, the bad head are working. There is nowhere where there is no bad head. And uh, let me take you to the Russian assault on Ukraine. Mm. Um, what do you see to the federal government's response, you know, as regards our citizens, especially students studying in Ukraine? We it's not we are talking of federal government, we are talking of government. We are talking of what is going on there. We expect that a person, the person in charge, that is Minister for Eastern Affairs, as a person, I will expect that it takes an appropriate steps. But you know what happened? We, we it was like the external affairs ministry was sitting on the fence while the United States announced and they were evacuating their people from that ground. I think the, proce we, we the process didn't do anything until the process of evacuating is still going on. The process of evacuating our own people is still going on now. To the no, best of my knowledge. No, no. You know what? The air the airports have been closed before we started acting at all. And it's don't you think the federal government was a bit insensitive along that line? You know, if, if you want to don't talk about federal government in isolation. Though federal government belongs to my party, the ruling party, that notwithstanding, we have a national culture. Okay. No culture of negligence. Okay. Culture of non talent attitude. Culture of non maintenance. Are you getting it? That no. those culture are the ones that are affecting Nigerians both home and abroad. You are talking of care of people overseas. Even the ones that are here in Nigeria, how many people have been able to take care of? But each that is why we have each ministry too. It's now left for us to call the attention of the government. To me, they have not done the best for not evacuating our people on time. But that is that had been affected. There was a time I was 2000. I think I was in the University of Manchester year 2000, uh, year 2001. And uh, <coughs> one Damnola Taylor had an, a Nigeria was murdered in London then. So if you see the way the government, UK government took it, they quickly invited the parents from Nigeria. And they started investigating until they discovered the person that murdered the damn Lola Taylor. The same very week, the same very week, about nine buses were burnt along if a bad road there. No statement of sympathy from any government. No statement of sympathy. So the developed country, they are, we have things to learn from them. And we have things, they have things to learn from us. Things to learn from them is that they should take care. We should take care of our citizens. Nigerians, they don't take care proper care of their citizens. I, I live a bit in London. They, even when you are a graduate, you have you have left school, you've not got a, a employment. You will even get employment if you have not got employment. You have the the audacity, the legality to go to your local government and call, collect treatment to sustain you. To sustain, so they will be forced to provide job for you. But in Nigeria, you see, you are carrying your certificate for nine, ten years without a job, which means you are not carrying. Is that a subject of the constitution? Or? It's not a subject. It's subject of governance. Subject governance. Of governance. And the APC government has been on for about seven years now. You want the APC to continue next year? What did they meet on ground? 
and how far have they gone with what they made on ground? That is what you, you should ask. Coming with a change. The, the change, change cannot be the, the, the change is not a magic. It's not a magic. And seven years is not enough to make an impact. We are talking of impact. I've been mean, highlighting the impact for you. And you see, if the, uh, the the poverty elevation, job employment, and this and that, you see, there are things that are wrong internally. Okay. Let me tell you, is let's visit all our institutions of learning, check their curriculum, see whether what they are producing, they have the job for them to do. Are you getting it? Yes. So, if governor of your state wants to employ a teacher now, twenty thousand people. It will have to tell you. I have to employ people that read education. People that read archaeology, where would they stay? People that read history, where would they stay? People that read music, where would they stay? So, if the training is not in compliance with the public need, and the services cannot be rendered independently, even if a a a, a pharmacist does not have government employment if he gets more money to for support he can take off if a medical doctor does not have government employment if he has little money and support he can take off so there are some if you look at our curriculum we are not tailoring it towards what the societal needs are so that is where the problem even if the government wants to employ would they just be dashing though they are dashing money at times so well, at times they will ask uh, you to submit their names and they indicate what they need and they will give them money and then this youth will still spend it for another thing. So what I'm saying in essence is that mm. So you have to look at the root of the problem, not the leaves of the problem or the stems of the problem. Thank you, Honorable Dr. Oyebamiji Joshua, uh, Vice Chairman APC in your state and the chairman of your central or your senatorial right mm. district thank you sir uh, i want to quickly turn to our facebook page and take reactions i have a gundele billy here he says my senatorial chairman dr ibamji is up to the task he will not hesitate to call his speed his speed where and when necessary if you like believe him if you like <laughs> You can also disbelieve your own to your own peril. I think that was a bit strong. <laughs> that guy loves it so much. And uh, uh, okay, <coughs> okay, he came to us. Then one Alaja Babala says, "Simple question." He says, "You are twisting it, and you don't want to answer as if you don't know what is happening." He said, "That's typical of uh, politicians." Okay, uh, we'll take that and uh, very quickly. What do you? What, what do you feel? Uh, are you, are you, uh, don't you feel for Nigeria that we are being plunged into indebtedness endlessly, borrowing by this government at the top? And that is the reason. It's not only on the top. Not at the top that is happening. No, check. Start from your state. I check. am looking, I am looking mm. at the top now. Mm. Good. So talk to me about that. <coughs> we'll come back. You will have an opportunity to say whatever you want to say. Before any government can borrow money, there are always rules and regulations. And they must target, one of the rules is that they must have a need that they want to meet that they have not met. And at times, it could be that they have advantage of getting that money without interest at times apart from having specific purpose for which they want to use the money if now just like any institution or any individual when i wanted to build my house i know the the salary i'm collecting i know the loan i could avoid to get but i have to go extra mile to get money so as to make sure that that project is completed if you get to that railway station and you Assess what is put on ground there. Are you talking about King Ali now? The Lagos, Ibadan, uh, to other part of the country. Okay. You will want to say where did Nigerians or the Nigerian government get this money from? So if it's for a purpose, government has an allowance. 
allowance in the sense of the provision of law to borrow money and there's a limitation to which, what they can borrow according to the law also mm. so and that is why we have the issue of check, checks and balances so there is no there's a limit to any money that any any president any governor or any local government chairman can spend without revealing it to the house the house who are in charge of in co the, 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 who has the laws and rules within their custody will now have to check whether that thing is going according to the law so before you can condemn that somebody is borrowing is it not borrowing too much or is it not borrowing little do you have the details of what he's spending the money for and why he has to borrow and uh, tell me the government that has been that did not borrow you said i should not talk about Toyo state no i said talk about that i am coming mm. we have, i've not finished with Toyo state i exactly. just took a leap you know and so uh, you, you, you're, you're just a replica of uh, or your state is a replica of it's just a baby of nigeria whatever is happening in uh, uh, over over there at the national level you expect the same thing to be happening in uh, at least if not exactly to be happening if the project has to or your APC. be executed yes or your apc yes uh do you think you can regain the state in <laughs> 2023 that's a foregone conclusion with what is on ground i beg your pardon sir eh? i didn't get you i say you market is a gunner with what is on ground okay with what is on ground just examine that i'm a political analyst good let's look at the background how did he come in okay he came in to me uh, by accident and by coalition that was within a week impromptu lay her range on his own strength he couldn't have on his party strength they couldn't have we have a amalgamation of the henna the synergy of about four or five parties together to enthrone the government it does happen by history if you go by history of how government is being changed the same thing happened to apc in those days when we could the, 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 our coalition before we could unseat the fed the, the, i mean the jonathan administration then but those who enthrone him are they still with him that is why i said say is a gunner let's put that one that's point number one. Tell now, us, if, if you know that they are no longer with him, let us know. Because <laughs> I didn't know. No, you, you, you are part of the, the. That is the the what is funny about the you pressman. You are very pretending at times. You you want to tell me that you were not aware when uh, our papa governor Ladoja they uh, carry all of them to the studio and they were giving hope for just one candidate when he uh, said that he was saying i'm stepping down for him when uh, the other party that uh Lale was their candidate was saying i was i was i was, I was uh, they were ste stepping down for him and uh, the other sdp and co when they were ste stepping down for him for him to enter let's look at the result of the election even the first election ajimabi won the second he won the fourth he had in the two election was not up to what penkele had was not up to what Penkele had in his last election. But what brought Seyi Makede in was the synergy and the coalition of all the parties that gathered together and put their, all their votes for one person. Five parties vote for just a single candidate. That enabled him. That is why personally I see him as accidency, not excellency. But you just said it that came in by the accident. APC had done that in the past, you know. No, I am saying guys. that when you want to change government, okay. and the same processing is going on now. Okay. The PDP are moving to us. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. And he, so if you are like the result of election that are job been published, where did they win? If you monitor the tempo at which people are moving from one party to another, how many PDP, how many APC, APC are they come to PDP? In spite of the fact that they are ruling in your state. Hello? Excuse me, please, sir. Hello, who is on the line, please? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Your name, sir, you're on to Agitibu 8.7 FM. Uh, my name is uh, Williams. I'm calling from LA, LA this morning. Williams, from LA, LA? Yes. 
Yes, sir. Please, what's your and, question and, for and our I guests? Get, I, I get your guests in the studio. Uh, Honorable, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I want to uh, to ask a few questions and to have, make a few assertions. First and foremost, the first question is this. Do you believe, sir, that the box stops at the table of the leader? Now, you said something a while ago that somehow made, made me to cringe a little you. You said, you, and this is a, it's a Buhari government, when it is assessed eventually, people will say that Buhari was good, but somehow those around him somehow misled his administration. That's why I asked you if you believe, first and foremost, that the box stops at the table of the leader. And secondly, uh, the, cha the chairman of the past of APC here in your state, you tried several to try to explain away a public slight. There is no way, if there is synergy between the state and the national leader of the APC, there is no way that he will come to Ibadan. Come to Ibadan. Somehow, he will leave out the state chairman of that party. Except you are saying that we should not read meanings to these things. But what has been done somehow, for me, is a public slight. And lastly, the railway issue that you just pointed to a while ago, it was not a project started by the Buhari administration. The good luck administration was also on that path. And money has been spent also trying to bring in railway to the nation. Lastly, sir, I will ask you this. The president, President the incumbent, when he was campaigning, Right now, we are having issues with fuel in this country. When he was complaining, it campaign, <coughs> he said clearly he was going to build refineries. Perhaps I did not hear him very well, but he said that he will refurbish the old ones and build new refineries. Seven years down the line, we have not seen anything about that. Okay, Mr. Williams, I think uh, you have made your point. Uh, let's. About that? Yeah, your reaction, sir. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you at least for your critical response. You first said that I should note that the bulk of the work comes to the table of the chief executive. Not that they did they will do it and bring it to his table. It's a set of people that will do it and bring it to his table. That much might not be his fault. Is that not what you are saying? But he has the mandate to reject and uh, amend or accept just like what happened to that nearly the electoral act that was formally brought to his table and he rejected that they should amend this and that there was a bit of delay in ratification of that one you call a spade a spade if i've said that we we've not gotten a perfect individual i was just saying that you've not gotten 100% perfect government if you compare when one government is good this aspect it may have its lasticity in the other aspect if you ask uh, this our president president uh, present president that what how are you feeling for nigerians on this issue of fuel security and the agenda that you put pro you projected before you came in he will say he is not feeling comfortable. And if you ask him, just like putting yourself in this position, what do you think will be solution? He will say, we are working on it. Then how far will you work on it? That's another question. You have said it. For seven years, you have not finished working on it. But the, 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 it's the latest that Nigeria feel. They don't feel the past. Please what, hold on the line. Hold on the line. We'll attend you soon. Yeah, go ahead. Uh -huh. So the latest is what Nigerian feel. I sympathize with Nigerians okay. for having that culture that Nigerians will forget to yesterday is only what is happening to them today that will determine their behaviors. Okay. If probably tomorrow now you hear that there are surplus of fuel and, then, and the, the fuel price is reduced, the people still pick up another issue. So what i normally tell people as a politician is that if you know that you are a true nigerian don't stay aloof be part of this transformation join them some people condemn politicians that is the politicians are not good they are not why, why do you leave them to leave bad people to governing you why not be part of them because you have equal right constitutionally 
so i appreciate you and i know that as individual buari will have his own regrets and he will have his own pride that i've achieved this place i've had problem this place just like any administration thank you thank you honorable dr Oyebamiji joshua our guest on the hot seat for today 27th of february right 2022 there's someone on the line hello uh, good afternoon sir good afternoon sir your name please sir um biodung adioye from salvation army biodung adioye from salvation army go ahead sir as far as i have been concerned i don't have any blame on any whatever government for one reason since the second republic we had made this mistake <coughs> and you know we want to take these people really and get to known to the military why that is being done if not the children will have precisely i won't say it's completely free but it will have been a token sorry that line went bad maybe the person called back uh, we have to move ahead now. Sorry, Mr. Biodun, I did you from Salvation Army. Uh, if, you could, if you could call back, fine, but the line went bad. Now, Honorable Dr. Oyebamiji Joshua, um, so far, okay, are you back? Hello? Who is on the line, please? Hello, sir. Hello, good afternoon, sir. What's your name? This is the what's it? Um, Bolade, Alonu, Bekun. Bolade. Alon Bekun. Alon Bekun, okay. Where are you speaking from, uh, sir? Uh -huh. I wanted to Where are you speaking from? I'm speaking from Onara. Onara, thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yes, yes. Now, I want to remind uh, our guest of what happened before Ajima became on board to become Anini's first tenor. Okay. You know, uh, the there is a problem within PDP. PDP brought him to power because they level an allegation against uh, Akala then that Jonathan visited Oyo. He didn't took Jonathan to uh, Ulubadon's palace. That was the genesis of the problem then. So, for in, uh, concerning uh, Shehima today, as God leave it, he's running the second sorry we lost that again okay very quickly now um so far honorable mm. dr Oyebamji joshua uh i see okay someone is back hello who's on the line please hello hello okay good afternoon sir your name i'm falodun from kuma yolodo falodun from kuma yolodo kuma kuma yolodo okay sir thank you sir yes sir No government is perfect. Okay. Okay, sir. But to my own conclusion, I think this Buhari government to me, I'm so Buhari that in fact I don't argue that the way they are running the government, it seems they are not so good. That's not the issue. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. That's a personal opinion. You have a right. So now, so far, sir, back in your state now. Um, <coughs> so far. <coughs> I see she Makinde uh, having some huge sterling qualities as administering uh, oil still well. I do not I expect that you will go with me along that line. But what is your brief assessment of the administration in oil state? Because this is the state that your party is still looking forward, you know, to clinch him very soon. But let's take this call, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Your name, sir. My name is Olatunde Akani. Olatunde Akani from where? From Olunde, Ibadan. Olunde, okay. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. I want to contribute to your debate. Go ahead. Uh, I thank uh, your speaker, the Vice uh, Chairman of APC in New York APC, yeah. for its laudable expression. But my fear is that the question you asked him about Nigeria government, that what is your performance so far? To me, yeah, we can compare contrast the past uh, government 
uh, of our government, United States government, the necessities of life for our citizens are just deteriorating. Education is deteriorating. No petrol, food scarcity here and there. Then secondly, coming to your state, and that uh, as APC going to do with uh, PDP or CMAC, this one is left to the electorate to determine. And uh, the electorate, uh, whether they are enjoying the Imakibi government or not, is left to them. I pray that there will be free and fair election in other states in 2023. And I will just encourage the masses to go and get their uh, potato cards so that they can decide their fate in other states in 2023. And the uh, two parties that are running Nigeria, they are, not, they are just uh, shifting business. Formerly, uh, our former Senate leader, uh, that's why he was formerly in the PDP. So there is no permanent in political uh, organization in Nigeria. So you can be here today and be here tomorrow, whether it's for every solution or at the country. But they should allow free and fair election in 2023 so that the masses can decide their fate. But as of today, we are not enjoying the Nigerian economy in terms of education, in terms of necessity. And no way in the country. First scarcity, food shortage, all scarcity areas, they are thanking. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Ah, there are a lot of Akuko in that place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me very let me take this. Uh, this has to do with a comment that you said people should step in and join the politicians. Someone, Faith Adeusi here, is saying that the competent ones are not allowed to step in, sir, according to your statement. Anyway, that's our own opinion. Now, no, the, the, the competent ones are allowed to step in, but they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. When, you see, it's not the first attempt that you will have your way always okay. we we were irritated let me tell you what brought me because everybody so many people will learn lesson from this there was a time i went to my local government after my master's degree and they were saying that it, it, when i was running my master's degree so i i i, I they said there was a application for i for for scholarship there so i went to obtain the application i submitted it the following day so I expected the endorsement of the chairman. And they said the chairman had to take the forms Sorry, sir. home Excuse so me, that sir. his children will help him to endorse it. The, the chairman then was a stack illiterate. So I was irritated by that. So I, I made up my mind that I will go into politics. If the rotten people, you assume that the, the rotten people are there, the literate people who are there, not the, the people that are not good are the one practicing. Why not? So you are encouraging people, you know, to no, come, come in and, 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 and reform it. Okay. So you, you have the right to join and you have the right to contest with others. Okay. And it may be your turn. Very good. Um, very quickly now, back to the government of, uh, the present government in your State, PDP, uh, led by Engineer Sheyi Makide. Uh, a lot, a lot of people say he's doing well, but your party, I'm not saying you should agree with that. How do you see the performance? Because this is a party, your party is also looking forward to taking over. You, you see, the, you know, when you talk of assessment of government of the day in your state. So far, yeah. So far. Yeah. You have already made a bias statement that you know you, I will not say but let me tell you the fact. There are some, as, some omissions. As, hold your thoughts, sir. Mm. Now, I said people have been saying he's doing well. And I cannot say he's not doing well. Mm. But you, as the opposition party, I say I do not expect that you will agree with that. Okay. Now, then let us know what your position is. Our own position is this. Good. You see, everything... You have to look at where the strength of that person is, where the the, the, weakness, the weakness of that person is. Okay. okay. When he came in, he taught the people that were aggrieved with the former gov government okay. were the teachers and the pensioners. 
he came in to that forum and he started attending to them you get it right mm. definitely if you pick from those people they will say he's doing well then go to the management of transportation in your state a mad person a crazy person will know he's doing wrong where you have park managers hijacking the government and playing the role of the government and becoming second command to the governor where you have park manager vandalizing abusing people and embarrassing people where you have this so-called park manager which is an ad hoc law that was never existing before eroding the rights and privileges of this the association that's supposed to run the management are you getting it I'm that has put us in some problems where you will see these people they will just commit atrocities without any query of recent you see this back manager with cutlass and guns they go and um, they cut all the any any big board that APC does they will cut it they tear things and any motto that is branded by APC they stop them they embarrass them they, 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 they chase them away from the vehicle i want to believe that the type of a person that we we, we think governor seima kede is that it will be a pretense to tell us that it's not aware of the atrocities that these park managers are, are committing committing all over the state okay and most especially in Ibadan. go to a world now just pretend put up a face that belongs to that bear the logo of any other party apart from pdp you see how they will embarrass that person and you are you are newsman you are aware of what is going on all over there so if he is not aware we want his media head who is hearing this to tell him that based on that or your state is not secured and nobody's life is secured equally and uh, if we have not seen the past government that has removed the issue of togri with legalism and here are boys we will have said is a magic to do that but the restoration of this area boys taking over now the order of the day is that heavy youth is an india hem smoker what is odor is he giving to the present the, the present government of the day you know i pointed out that he addressed the issue of teachers he addressed the issue of pension on one side those people will be praying for it but some people the, the general society where they cannot sleep they cannot move freely and these people are just committing every day i hope you are not by implication saying that the government is encouraging people to smoke in their or whatever no okay. it, it, i'm just saying that that okay it, all the allowances he gave they cannot run mad without intoxication okay they, 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 these people are not the old julas or say see we're now so this is, an, uh, is a permit is a is an informal permit when you cannot report any one of them that committed any atrocity and you see of recent when the the nepa house ibdc had rank with sectariat with government house you know is this park manager that went there and closed the gates of the ibdc and forced them to are you sure they were the park managers the ones that you even carry you news people the set of people that went to ikiti that they hung the 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 the, the, the hide the card on them and everybody saw them in undress and the dreams park manager from Noyo state are you telling me that you are not aware of that are you telling me that you are not aware that these people are committing atrocities are you telling me that if it affects if it doesn't affect you it if it, it, it will it not affect somebody you know well hoping there haven't been any issues of uh impersonation or some people doing that i want to ask you what is going to be 
your campaign unique selling point you know to clinch the governorship next year the commenting on grand in Noyo state the first thing is the restoration of security of life and property excuse me please hello good afternoon and that have been the crisis from the beginning sorry let's hello. attend to this call good afternoon sir who is on the line please good afternoon my name is Suleiman sharif Suleiman sharif yes i'm calling from ibadan which area of ibadan sir uh from onara onara again okay thank you uh why don't sir thank you sir uh, so to your guest in the studio so, oh good afternoon good afternoon you are welcome uh from my own point of view you know the politician they will not commend any party that is doing good if that party is not from their the same party although we the citizen of your state you know what is going on we know how those pms members are behaving but despite that even if you gather a lot of people together you will see see miscreants among them so i want to advise the state governor to do the new from that aspect because during the two weeks ago we learned a lot of news here yeah, that there are some impostors among them that they are not really, really member of PMS, even members of OPNA, that they are fake members and they harass some people, especially the rural users. So I will advise the state government to do the news in that area. About what your guest said and what what really happened in uh, IBD senior power office, that's where I'm working around in uh, Green Good. My office is very near to that place. From that day, I was there when the those people that are uh, collecting the levies on behalf of the state government that they came to come and seal off the office. If you member of those entire revenue, not the PMS member. So uh, we, when we come on here, we should tell the fact we should stop spreading or uh, the news that is not genuine because they are opposition party. That's my own carry advice to your guests. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um, well, he says he was near there. That's what he says, and uh, you have your feedback too. That stands at that. Now, very quickly, because uh, we have just about one, two, three, fifteen more minutes to go. Let's quickly attend to this call. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. This is the hot seat. Hello. Good afternoon. Your name, sir. Where are you speaking from? Uh, my name is Williams. I'm calling from LA. LA. Oh, Williams again. Okay. Yes, I want to quickly say this. One thing we know about our election is this, or our politics is this. Togri is a part and parcel of our democracy in Nigeria. Now, the APC has their own talks, just as the PDP has their own talks. So I don't want anybody coming up on air trying to sound as if somehow they are, they are like sent. Because we know APC has their own. Now, on the issue of what the governor has done and what he has not done, your guest a while ago said that this thing should be judged in gradient. It seems you were able to achieve and since you could not achieve. Now, as you know, as he has said also, nobody is perfect. It's, it, it's, it's that government is a work in progress. Of course, I have my issues with the, with the government about this uh, PMS people and the rest things, and also about this uh, uh, street light, how he spoiled the, uh, the, the light uh, in the street. I have these issues. But at the same time, please, let's try also be objective about some of the achievements that have been made. I know it is not easy for APC to say, in this area, the government has tried, but at, at least let's be balanced in our own uh, uh, critique so at least we move our heads forward. Have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, very quickly, uh, Honorable Dr. Ibam G. Joshua, um, what is the relationship between your party and other parties in the state? It just what I've just, except the, 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 the ruling party in your state that is not very friendly or cordial with our people which I've just said now, is very evident. And I have the pictures on my, the b-board that does this. We are okay. seeing things that are evidential. So, and the harassment and embarrassment that PDP, apart from PDP syndrome, that what the former, the person that phoned last was saying was that these are PDP talk, this park manager by implication that uh, well, APC has its own. No. He's saying that. Yeah. But this uh, PDP talks, they are causing a lot of atrocities 
in the city and they are focusing much more on apc and apc related things and people sorry sir. so we hold your want you hold your thoughts sir. hello sir maybe you can just take this along hello good afternoon good afternoon sir your name very quickly sir we are running out of time adebayo adewale from egbeda Yes. Yeah, uh, go ahead, sir. I just want to you tell your guest the best that, uh, yes, they should try and acknowledge that uh, the security problem is not peculiar to uh, your state, as they have as been, as they have been uh, portrayed. If a president cannot go to a state, Sanfara, because of security report, and uh, that shows how degenerated uh, the whole situation is, all right. I think we should all join hands and we should not politicize uh, this thing. And uh, another antics they should look at it is there is some of these things that have been done to get sympathy. That is, it is not all of them that has been orchestrated by the party in the uh, government. Oh. Some opposition too do things to themselves at like, at, at, to see whip sympathy. So all this thing is not new to us in politics. So they should just be focused and they tell us what exactly they want to do for us as opposition in becoming. Why we've seen what is uh, being done by the present government, but the antics. I think. They Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, Mr. Adebayo Adewale. Thank you, sir, from Ebeda. Uh, very quickly from my Facebook page, Allah Kakuli is a may God Almighty bless on You are fully loaded, sir. And uh, Al Hajjah Babalala says, No one of you political parties or politicians is a saint. So you take that and keep that. Uh, ah, shall we take this call? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. What's your name, please? I'm the Bafal Joko Libaki, sir. Who? Falodu from Kumbe. Oh, Falodu again. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <coughs> Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have you? I think it's the duty of the government of the day yeah. to address that issue. Okay. The, any issue that is, I was part of Ajima Bis administration, and I knew how things went. In fact, I was a chairman of a governing board for secondary school. I knew what went in the education sector when it was there. I knew the omission that. The issue of politicizing po education costs these states. Let me ask you a question very quickly, mm. oh, Dr. Ibanji mm. Joshua. Is there, or do you in any way assist mm. the government of the day, or because you're in opposition, mm. you don't mind even if you make observations, do you, mm. you, do you mind reaching out to government to say, ah, look, you know, do you give support? Because this is our state, and... Uh, you, you see, we have to. There is a need for an opposition. Yeah. A constructive critic. Good. Because if you everything you do, either bad or good, people say it's good. Hmm. And you will note something as a professional educationist. When a teacher picks his biro and he wants to mark puppies. Uh, right up, it will look for heroes that are there. Yeah. Eh? So we have been pointing where heroes and omissions are, just like Governor Seyimakide succeeded in paying teacher salary as at when due at the negligence of school management. When he came in, he said he abolished 1,000 naira that parents are paying per month. And that was the foundation on which school governing board was built. That apart from the running costs that school is being given, that one is a 
supplement or complement for the school management to run the school so by the time that one goes off immediately majority of the puppies no development in the school for the first six months but ogota ogota that is the wages and the staff aspect of it whether they have a good environment whether the curriculum is being monitored whether the running grant is given or not given now up to date they still have crisis now what, what they wanted is their salary and when the salary is paid and the body the, the real resource is not gotten and the environment is not conducive even all this construction that are going on apart from being an opposition party majority of them are product are project and product of federal government etf did this uh you bet those are projects they are bringing into the state to make sure that the education is and then taken care of in terms of school environment and building our infrastructural facilities mm -hmm. so let me tell you sincerely the apc in your state majority of us are not we are technocrats we are educated, we are exposed, we are retired civil servants, and uh, we have native and international experiences to guide and to tell him. Yeah. And uh, just apart from position, which and position is ordained by God for every individual, I cannot see what is being managed in Oyo State that I, I personally cannot handle with my status scope. And, that and we are ready. And that takes me to the next question. Mm. That from Chibni Akita. Oh my God, let me take this. Hello, good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Phyllis, very quickly, I just have one minute for you. Mr. Abiodun from Iwurud. Mr. Abiodun. from Iwurud. Okay, very quickly, yes. sir. It is very worrisome. Okay. The way our people uh, and played politics in Nigeria. Because majority of the political parties are political, so either IPC, PDP, Abga, any political parties, all of them are political talks. And it's very clear. Uh, I've just mentioned in our education sector, but I want to ask him why the uh, administration failed to achieve the sole national or last tech? We know how the normal goal is the second strike, like it's done by New York City. It is present administration that they achieved that achievement. And about that SG, what government said is that they do not have four records of 3,000 they are collecting so far. That's what it is all this. And later, he set up that cabinet again. So we need to comment. <coughs> okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, he, he doesn't agree, seem to agree with you. He says, the governor is doing well that and whatever he abolished has reinstated so it means maybe he has listened Be, because to, he did he not he is not an insider on that aspect okay, okay i equally commend him that he was able to get rid of issue or issue of loud tech but is still additional burden for us which he has taken responsibility of which is unable to meet up with now okay. it's not that they are not indebted to in all ways to and, and it's not that every problem is being solved, but it's an achievement on his, on his part that is able to win or woo the the institution for or your state. Okay. Which is, by the way, I refer to the payment of teacher salary as one of his achievements. Are you getting it? Yeah. But what we are for is for us to tell him what he needed to do that he's not doing. Okay. And what he ought to not to do that he's doing okay like the way the this park manager are operating yeah i think that you have established uh, uh, hey, so let's quickly take this because i have just two more minutes sir okay uh from chivney akintola senior advocate of nigeria chief olasun committee chief bayo adelabu senator um teslim falani professor adio luakande senator fatai buhari among others who do you think can match engineer shei makede shoulder to shoulder uh in the build-up to 2023 you see these are people every one of them can i personally can match say market day and uh, some majority of them are my seniors these people you are talking about okay 
I, Honorable Dr. Oyebamiji Joshua, with my political experience and exposure to grassroots politics, I can match Say APC puts me up. That is the blessing we have in APC. Look at sand. Sand is sand. She sand is exposed. Okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. Look at Diolo Akade. He's a professor. Look at Penkele. He's a first class citizen. Look at uh, Senator Teslin Folani. He's a politician to the core. Roger. So any of them that you match, Okay, where is he? She is in the middle. Anyway, anyway. Uh, if well, not, why he say where is say he? If not, the backup that he had there. Ah, uh, well. So if not, the backup. And that backup is no more there. Okay, you said so. We don't know. But that's all right. Sorry, the person on the line, we can no more take any calls. Let me thank. Uh, uh, Honorable Ibag, but I'm also Honorable Femi Akin today, the former secretary, like the local government, and Mr. Emo Balugun, who all came uh, with our guests. Uh, Honorable Dr. And my local government chairman are outside. You didn't allow them to come in. Sorry, sorry, the studio cannot take everybody. We thank you all. I'm, I'm sure they are listening to us. <laughs> and I'd like to thank uh, my producer, uh, Sakinat uh, Yusuf uh, Ibrahim. Thank you very much for manning the audio console. I want to thank you very sincerely, sir, it's on behalf of our chairman for making this appointment, for making an appearance on the hot seat on Agiribo 88.7 in Badoyo State, Nigeria, this Sunday, the 27th of February, 2022. Well, that's it this week. And until uh, next week when we come your way again with another guest, I remain yours sincerely, for you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. I am Olaolu. A lot of what signing out for now. Good afternoon.